little teaser. But are you ready? All right, please stand.
But are you ready? Yeah. All right, please stand.
Please be seated. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Saratkoff Field. I am Matthew Parakoff, ASB student board member and ASB president. Woo! 
On behalf of the Wheatland Union High School Class of 2022, I would like to welcome you to our graduation. When I was asked to write this speech, it put it in perspective that high school was really coming to a close. But that just means our journey is only beginning. Our high school adventure has been a wonderful experience that has prepared us for the next chapter of our lives, whatever that may be. Our four years at Wheatland have been some of the most memorable and shaping days of our lives. While we are individually in different clubs, sports, or hobbies, together we are all the class of 2022. I am very excited to see what the future holds for each and every one of us. I would like to thank all parents, family, friends, faculty, and staff of Wheatland High School for their constant support through our time at Wheatland. Also, to fulfill a promise I made when I was eight years old, I would like to personally thank Bruce and Tracy Bishop for all their support over the years. As a class, we especially appreciate the teachers here who have been amazing role models and always extremely helpful to make sure we succeeded in high school. You've all been extremely influential in our lives and helped make us into the young people we are today. Seniors, after the graduation ceremony, go find those people in your lives and express your gratitude to them. Many of you tra have traveled long distances and we wish to make the morning as enjoyable and respectful as you and your graduates deserve. So we ask that the audience members be courteous to the people around them and cheer appropriately for the graduates. I would like to thank the audience in advance for respecting the dignity of this ceremony. Thank you all for coming to celebrate the graduates this morning, and let's please give a huge round of applause to the Wheatland Union High School graduating class of 2022. Now please welcome Summer Couts and Paige Clements to the stage. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Everyone, please be seated. I'm sorry, please stand. <laughs> The national anthem will be sung by Paige Clemens. Thank you. 
Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming in the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the hope of the Everyone, please be seated. Please join me in welcoming our board president, Mr. Tony Lopez. Again, good morning and welcome. What a beautiful day to honor and celebrate all these graduates. Wouldn't you agree? I'm so glad we actually changed the time to do this a little bit earlier and be a little bit cooler. So it is my honor and distinct privilege to bring to the stage our student board member of the year, Matthew Brockoff. Matthew, thank you for your service as a member of the Wheeling Union High School District Board of Trustees during the 2021-2022 school year. Your leadership, dedication, and commitment to the students, staff, and faculty of our district has led to a profound impact on our community. Thank you and wish you luck. Montana State, right? At Montana State. Congratulations. extremely proud to donate the balance of our senior class ASB account to Wheatland Union High School to help pay for the new sound system in the gym. On behalf of the senior class of 2022, we present this senior gift. Please join me in welcoming our principal, Mrs. Edwards. Edwards is a little short. Good after or good morning everyone. 13 short years ago, your students filled their backpacks with their supplies for the first day of school. While most of them were a little nervous, they were probably excited as their parents held their small hands and walked them into their first classroom. Walking through the elementary school doors, today's graduates became 
began a 13-year journey that is now coming to a close. Along the way, they were, they were faced and overcame many challenges, from learning to tie their shoes, to telling time, to memorizing the slope formula in Ms. Edwards' class, and grammar rules. In addition, they lived through a pandemic, school online, and months of missing their friends. The academic and life lessons they've learned throughout the years have prepared them for their future success. What I've seen from these students is dedication and determination to get to today. They were optimistic about what tomorrow will bring and embraced the challenges with a smile. I am proud of the class of 2022. This afternoon, our, or this morning, our, graduate, our graduation is a tribute, a tribute to everyone who held the hand of one of today's graduates when they were nervous or they needed some support. A tribute to those who supported their goals and dreams. It's a tribute to the graduates themselves who have worked to overcome the challenges and make their dreams come true. Each and every one of them one of you should be extremely proud. I am certain these graduates who sit before you have bright futures. They will excel because of their dedication and will carry an optimistic outlook wherever they go. Good luck to the class of 2022. I'd like to welcome Emna Sharif for a special presentation.
For this part of the program, it's my special pleasure to introduce our salutatorians and valedictorians. It's a great honor to receive the title of valedictorian and salutatorian. The students who receive these titles have achieved the highest GPAs on campus over the course of four years of education. Please join me in welcoming our 2022 Wheatland High School co-salutatorians, Anne-Marie Galvan and Lillian Secha. And our 2022 valedictorian, Caitlin Peterson. awareness of the terrible epidemic affecting our nation and thousands of students right now. I caught it recently and let me tell you it's highly contagious and lethal. Symptoms include tiredness, lack of motivation, and laziness. Yes, senioritis. It is a terrible disease. The reason why I'm spreading awareness is because I wrote this speech the day before it was due. And let me tell you, I do not recommend to be completely honest with everybody, I didn't even want to do this speech. And to be even more honest, you guys don't want to listen to me talk about a bunch of BS on a cheesy topic that nobody cares about. What we really want is to get our diploma and get the heck out of here. So allow me to waste a couple minutes of your time just so you guys can forget about it in the next 15 minutes. When I was asked to write this speech, I had no idea where to start or what to write about. Like all things in high school, I went straight to Google. Google suggested to write about how much I've grown. And that is where I decided to quit. Because if you didn't know, I haven't grown an inch in the past four years. But in all seriousness, I'm still growing, I hope. <laughs> if not physically, at least I'm growing mentally. But for real, my high school experience consisted of short jokes, homework, my first car accident with a parked car, <laughs> more homework, studying, and not recognizing my classmates because in the past two years, I either saw their names on a screen or they were wearing a face mask. From my experiences, I've grown and eventually learned to refer to people as, hey you. I've learned to deal with the short jokes, how not to react to car, a car accident, and how to study hard, <clears throat> but party harder. <laughs> I started high school as a shy freshman with a friend group consisting of all of three people. In these past years, I have grown to become more social and comfortable with my class which is a great accomplishment. Not only have I grown into this amazing person in my high school years, I like to think that our whole class has grown as well. We started high school obsessed with our fidget spinners and slime, and then we all went through a terrible awkward phase of face acne. It wasn't pleasant. And then we got slapped in the face with COVID. In that time, we learned so many life skills, like how to stay in our house, watch 30 second videos on social media, because that is how long our attention span is, how to use Google and Quizlet to look up answers and more. We went from tiny freshmen not knowing anything to average sized seniors still not knowing anything but how to cheat. I'm just kidding, we didn't cheat. <laughs> We are all here today because we worked so hard to complete this academic achievement. This is for those late night studying because procrastination is a great motivator, creating history by getting through a COVID year and still managing to stay close as a class, and listening to our teachers' lectures even when we caught a bad case of senioritis. We've all watched each other grow into the people we are today. We've all seen each other's good and each other's bad. But we grew up to be such a close class, and I'm thankful that this was my high school experience. To wrap this up, I like to make it short and sweet, just like me. So congratulations, class of 2022, for graduating. And thank you, family, friends, and staff, for shaping us into who we are today.
I'm a little child. Good morning, family, friends, and faculty. I would like to welcome you all to celebrate the graduation of the class of 2022. I am proud to say that I, Anne-Marie Galvan, am your class of 2022 salutatorian. Well, in this case, one of two. In the event you still don't know what a salutatorian is, I have found the perfect definition from UrbanDictionary.com. It states, the person who missed being valedictorian by a few GPA points. A very miserable person indeed. Second place is just the first loser. I would actually have to disagree with the slap statement though, as I have learned that first is the worst and second is the best. <laughs> Sorry, Caitlin, we're still friends, right? Well, all jokes aside, nobody today should be miserable. We should all be proud that we have made it this far, and by the end of the day, we will walk across the stage and be graduated. But today also marks the end of a chapter in our lives. For four years ago, the story of our lives were just blank pages waiting to be written, and I honestly thought I knew how my story was going to be written. But just like everyone here today, our stories are completely unique. Our time here at Wheatland Union High School has helped shape each and every story. Being here has extended the lessons we've learned to more than just calculus, English, and biology. These lessons include how to be a leader, how to be a doer, and especially how to work in a group. Thank you, Soda. Whether you are captain of the football team or working on the yearbook, Wheatland Union High School has brought our chapters together. As another chapter ends, a new one begins in the story of our lives. And just as today marks the end of a chapter, the first chapter of our adult lives is underway. Our high school grades, extracurricular activities, and detentions do not define us. The great Albus Dumbledore has said, it is our choices that define us far more than our abilities. Our new chapter will begin with a choice. Some of us will be going to college and having to turn our textbooks to page 394. Some will be going straight into the workforce or even the military. And some will simply just be taking a well-deserved break. As these choices begin to unfold, everyone here will have the opportunity to be successful if they do not expect to be handed anything on a silver platter. We've learned these past four years, it takes hard work and dedication to achieve big. So today's graduation is more than a liberation from high school. It is a celebration of all the good and bad times, the frustrating and amazing teachers, all the sick days we've taken, the friends we've gained and lost, but most importantly, it's a celebration of the future that's yet to come. Congratulations, class of 2022. We've made it. Good morning, Pirates. This is Caitlin Peterson. Instead of morning announcements today, I want to welcome all of you, faculty, family, friends, and graduates, to the honor of hearing me speak. <laughs> oh, I meant the class of 2022 graduation ceremony, of course. For those of you who don't know me, which I don't know why you wouldn't, hi, I'm Caitlin, nice to meet you. Everyone thinks it is such an honor, which it is, to be up here giving this valedictorian speech. But it makes people think that I'm going to go on and do wondrous things, like be a top-notch doctor. But my brother, right over there, was the valedictorian 11 year ago, years ago here at Wheatland. And look where he is now, up in the stands, still coming over to have our mommy cook him dinner. <laughs> These past 13 years have been eventful, memorable, and overall pretty stressful. It isn't a secret that we have lived through the historic and d disgusting disease called high school. Oops, I meant COVID, LOL. 
Side note, I was hesitant to leave LOL in my speech, but my grandma got it who I'm pretty sure has seen a T-Rex, so I left it in. We've had to wear masks through school for hours at a time, but after looking out in the audience, I wish some of us still kept them on. <laughs> through these years, we have learned how to keep ourselves busy, work with technology, and cheat. Just kidding. I'm winking if you couldn't tell. Even though these past two years haven't been the ideal high school experience, we made it through and are finally done with school. Well, some of us. I've been thinking about how to write this speech when I've been driving home these past few weeks. I was driving down Derry Road, and before you ask, no, it wasn't flooded. And I was thinking about how the drive from my house to school is so familiar to me. I could make the drive with my eyes closed, and I have a couple times. We have made the drive approximately 575 times back and forth to school, including hybrid and distance learning. We have grown comfortable with our daily routines, but starting tomorrow, we all start our new lives and changes are coming. Whether you are scared of change or are ready for it, no matter which boat you fall into, change is coming. Most of us have grown up together since preschool, though others have joined us through the years or even just this year. Regardless of when you got here and when, where you are today, from here on out, we are starting over and have a clean slate to do and achieve whatever we put our minds to. And by we, I mean each and every one of us. Whether you're number two, 47, or last, we all have the ability, that's the key, the ability to meet and achieve our dreams. Some dreams will be more ambitious than others, but that's okay. The important thing is having ambition in the first place. As we embark on our journeys towards reaching our dreams, each of us will need to find our own daily path on our own dairy roads. Often, there will be times where your dairy road is flooded, and when that happens, you'll need to adapt and push through the obstacle, just as we push through the obstacles that we went through in high school, like living through a pandemic. Some of us will go on to become doctors, mathematicians, professional YouTube watchers, and of course, one of us will be the genius to open up the eighth gas station in Plymouth Lake. Because we all know we need another one. So this is obviously the part where I end on something epic, inspiring, witty, something that gets me written down into the history books. That's normally how it goes, but when your first six paragraphs are utter gold, you don't need a killer conclusion. Mr. Taylor, I got you. Here it goes anyways. Class of 2022, we are in flight. Ascend to the clouds. Ascend above the clouds. Achieve your dreams. Class of 2022, we made it. Please join me in welcoming Wheatland Union High School District Governing Board members, Mr. Tony Lopez, Ms. Shondell Meter, Ms. Patty Eagles, Mr. Greg Forrest, and Mr. Brendan McHugh to present diplomas. I would also like to welcome Ms. Nicole Newman and Ms. Michelle Gonzalez to present our graduates. Are we ready? All right, let's do this. Y'all ready? Caitlin Ashley Peterson.
Matthew Kenneth Brockoff. Hold your cover. Anne Marie Tarana Galvan. Nicholas Michael Ascension. <laughs> Lillian Shua Seichow. <laughs> Ashton James Agricola McCormick. Gwyneth Alexandria Toledo. Haley Travis Loblin. Summer Marie Schmidt. Jacob Ryan Wilkins. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Jorge Luis Valeriano. Elizabeth. Galena Brick. Hayden Dean Webb. Justine Celeste Bolden. Tristan Michael Reimer Elizabeth Renee Freeman Jasmine Marie Burkeen. Ashlyn Tenero Martin. Skylar Rose Lee. Talia Leah Magania. Victoria Agnes Markowitz. Jalen Joan Wamil. Carly J. Davis. Isaiah, Isaiah Preston Feeney. Molly Jean Ennis. Korean 
Christina Jada Schuler. Tyler James Hahn Atkinson. Julius Arthur Sutherland. Jordan Joseph Beben. Maria de Los Angeles Navarro. Alexis Jean Inman. Michaela Jean Hecker. Macy McComber. Larry Robert Bass. Come back, Larry, get a picture. Joseph Abraham Bulos. Jeremiah Jaime Jones. Isabel Lynn Bergeron. Hassam Al Barakat. Bailey Nicole Leverett. Robert Patrick Andrini. Christopher Anthony Phillips. Bradley J. Eater Bonega. <laughs> Praise Suni Akpara. <laughs> Abigail Elizabeth Baines. David Cruz Aldana. <laughs> Malena Elise Barron. <laughs> Morgan Vincent Baxter. Jason Dakota Berge. <laughs> Alyssa Marie, Alyssa Marie Bender. <laughs> Isabel Nicole Trujillo. James 
Bayer Garcia. Cameron Paul Bowen. Jacob Lee Britton. Skyler Aiden Brown. Justin Michael Bradford. Anthony Nicholas Caruso. Emily Chacon. Caitlin Sue Chapman. Emna Sharif. Derek Darren Chun. Tyler James Chandler. <laughs> Natalia Alejandra Correa Velasco. <laughs> Amara Garcia Chun. Emma Joanne Cope. <laughs> Tiffany Jacqueline Davila. Autumn Nicole Durham. Anthony William Diamato. Lillian Angel Diaz. Nicholas Garland Elliott. RJ Escobar. Adriana Taylor Evans. Elisa Berlucci. Jenna Grace Garcia. <laughs> Alyssa Buckholtz. <laughs> Julian Edward Gaston. Liliana Rose Gonzalez. Morgan Elizabeth Good.
Mohamed Milad Hashimi. Bryn Katrina Hexberg. Madison Nicole Hartley. Abby Nicole Holifield. Jason Allen Hathaway. Ethan William Holsey. Susie Her Lawrence. Gatsia Inez Hujek. Ariana Kaylee Hodges. Logan Clayton Johnson. Lance Marshall Homan. Jessica Lynn Kelly. Renee Holfield. <laughs> Peyton Ryan Kuhn. Cameron Grace Jacobson. Connor Matthew Leeson. Lindsay Ireland Johnson. <laughs> Ruthann Long. <laughs> Michael Allen Jones. <laughs> Kaylin Marie King. Sophia Mala. <laughs> Kayla Delena Leeson. <laughs> Christina Jasmine Martinez. <laughs> Yeah. Annika Mattia <laughs> Alexandria Helene Young <laughs> Jalisa Bowie Jordan W.S. Merrifield. <laughs> Connor Austin Hoff. <laughs> Diego Mancera Regalado. Falls. 
Cielo Guadalupe Martinez. Isabella Alexandria Melgar. Austin J. McCarthy. Ashley Ann Marino. Victoria Cyan Miller. Elena Lynn Mead. Isabel Navea Miranda. Gia Lisa Lynn Metcalf. Constance Jade Ellen McDaniel. Joanna Murillo. Michael Vincent McCoy. Abriana Obizo. Andrew Dylan Monterosa. Wyatt Allen Jean Monk. Robert Edward Miner. Anthony Michael Ortiz. Sergio Ortega Lopez. Peyton Wenton James Peabody. <laughs> Ramsey David Parker. Cheyenne Caitlin Rose Pereira. Aurora Paris. Jonathan Pegoff. Eveline Panamara. Thomas Joseph Shanahan. Alejandro Ponti. Meta Junior Eleko Solin Fon. Michelle Ortiz Rader. Taylor 
Michelle Perkins. Alondra Itzel Raya. Jaden Richard Poth. Deja Trinity Winter Quintero. <laughs> Katana Rain Salas. <laughs> Cody Lawrence Rankin. Regan Melissa Sanders. Alec Anthony Ravis. Julietta Renee Sawyer. Lillian Ayana. Rodriguez. Angelique Amaya Seals. Mohammed Arash Rostey. Noah Guillermo Sampson. Aiden John Shively. <laughs> Yasmin Zilizi. <laughs> Braden Michael Saunders. <laughs> Charles Anthony Spangler. <laughs> Jeremy Connor Schmidt. <laughs> Isabella Chanel Steimer. Mason David Sisko. Adam James Strebel. Avery Damian Stackhouse. Daniel Jose Tef Marie. Brandon Patrick Stewart. Jose de Jesus Tostado. Brinley Jaden Tarwater. <laughs> Michaela Louise Turnbull. <laughs> Isabel Lynn Thompson. <laughs> Courtney.
Courtney Nicole Van Oyen. Elizabeth Ann Pinlock Torres. Idali Vicente Medina. Alessandra Yadira Valladares. Tang Yang. Nicholas Vega. Andrew Yang. Baden Allen Wilkins. Graduates, are you ready? I'm, I'm the only thing standing between you and throwing your cap, but don't do it yet. You have met all of the state requirements for graduation from the Wheatland Union High School District. By the authority vested in me by the Wheatland Union High School District Governing Board and the State of California, I hereby confer upon the Wheatland Union High School class of 2022, the diploma of graduation. Now, Wheatland Union High School graduates, the graduation tassel, they're all holding it because they know what I'm gonna do, is a symbol for success. Your tassel right now should be on the right. That's your test. Graduates, moving the tassel to the left after graduating is symbolic of crossing over from high school to another stage in your life. Graduates, please move your tassel from right to left. <laughs> ladies, ladies and gentlemen, it is with great honor that I present to you the graduated Wheatland Union High School District Class of 2022.